Jen Berkelman's here, soul alignment coach for empaths and sensitive souls who seek to embody and step into and connect to their purpose. And I wanted to jump on real quick. I saw this post on social media and it really inspired me. It said, what, have you figured out what's blocking your success and money? And I instantly felt this contraction in my body. I was like, Oof, that doesn't feel right. What doesn't feel right about it? So when I looked within, I really realized like I, being intentional with words is important to me, not to the point that we nitpick all the words that we say, but really looking at what, what was contracting for me in that moment and being intentional with my word, my words. And what I realized is that I don't believe that we're ever truly blocked. And I want to share it from the perspective of taking a road trip. If you are on a road trip, you're going to have to have stops along the way, stopping pit stops to fill up on fuel and food. You're gonna have to stop overnight, maybe at a motel to get some sleep. Now they might not be the prettiest stops. They might be uncomfortable. Um, when you're getting at fuel, it might be in the middle of nowhere and there's tumbleweeds and you don't really want to stay there, but they're necessary parts of your journey where you need to fuel, where you need to get the energy that you need, where you need to get something out of it to fuel the rest of your journey. And this is true with our journey in life. There are going to be parts of our journey that are uncomfortable. There are going to be parts where we don't want to stay there and where it might not look like the way that we want it, but it's because it's a stop where we need to build, where we need to get something that's going to fuel the rest of our journey. Maybe it's courage. Maybe it's patience. Maybe it's self-love, maybe it's energy in order to fuel the next parts of our journey. But just because the outside experience that we're experiencing doesn't look like what we want it to doesn't mean that we're not on the path to get there. And in the path to get there, there are necessary parts that need to come together to get there. And some of that is uncomfortable. Some of that we don't necessarily want to stay there, but it's just part of the journey. And I think if we also look at this idea of success, you know, this idea that success is monetary and that success looks like a certain thing. What if we shifted that? What if we shifted the definition of success to just mean that we are in a different part of our journey than we were before? You know, when I look at my, my life, the way that I define success is that I'm not where I was before. And that means every step that I take is success. When I sit with uncomfortable emotions that are really hard, that's success. When I get up in the morning and I'm, you know, I don't want to do stuff, but I, I do my self-nourishment, my self-care, that is success. When I um, put up a boundary that I was never able to before, that's success. Uh, so each part of these little minds, milestones, just little steps on the journey, our success. And I think if we take away this idea that our outside world has to look a certain way, that we have to arrive in order for us to be successful, and rather look at success uh, from the point of it just being one step forward, one loving step forward, and each one of those loving step forwards is success. So I just wanted to share that. I wanted to shift this perspective. You know, you're not blocked. You don't need to be fixed. It's just you're on a journey and parts of those journey are actually necessary, uncomfortable, but necessary to get you to where you want to go. You need maybe wisdom from it. You need guidance. You need energy. And so sometimes that means feeling stuck or not moving in the way that you want to because something's building. Something behind you is being woven together to pull together this life that you're imagining. And eventually you're gonna get there and the next milestone is gonna be created and it's gonna be the same thing. So I just wanted to share this loving perspective. Let me know if that resonates. Let me know what you think. Much love.